What's up? Brian Tonk here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. There's still a lot of you wondering, what's going on here? Well, this is my new home, my new YouTube channel, and this is the place to find all my videos. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, bing, so you can get all the good stuff. All right, let's get to the show. And the big question this week, did Apple just scrap the iPhone SE2 for this year? The beloved four inch iPhone SE still holds a place in many people's hearts and people are waiting for the next gen model because of its sleek design that fits easily in one hand, allowing you to swipe easily across the entire screen for normal sized humans. And yes, yes, a headphone jack. You arguably hear about people asking for the SE2 just as much as the next iPhone 10 plus or whatever they call it. Two new rumor reports are now claiming that the SE2 has been completely squashed and won't appear at all this year. Forbes claims their sources say that Apple has decided to drop plans for the so-called iPhone mini X, which was believed to be the next gen design for the iPhone SE2. Case maker Alixar was the first to get the chatter started when they announced they were producing screen protectors for the next iPhone SE with a notch at the top for a true depth camera. And uh, I'm just going to pretend that I don't see that notch after last week's rant, so stay cool. Like, just stay cool. Then there were mystery pictures from a factory depicting a physical version of the screen protector next to an iPhone 5 for sizing reference with a notch. Okay, I said keep cool, Brian. You got this, you got this. And then a leaked CAD schematic that shows design measurements that match up with the leaks from the factory. Sure, you could say this is all made up, but Alixar has some credibility here and a track record in the past of accurately releasing early renders of the iPhone 10, Galaxy S9, Note 8, Note 7, and iPhone 7. They were the ones who first leaked out the iPhone SE2 schematics, the designs, but now Alixar is saying that Apple's only new models this year will be the big three iPhone 10 inspired ones. That's the 5.8 inch OLED, the 6.1 inch LCD, and the 6.5 inch OLED. Again, this is all rumor and speculation, so we're just putting the pieces together, but you might not want to hold your breath waiting for the iPhone SE2. It looks like it's notch going to happen. And you know I wasn't gonna let you off the hook without a notch joke. All right, in older but related iPhone news from last week, the Wall Street Journal reports that sources with Apple supply chain say Apple expects the LCD screen model to make up the majority of its sales in the new big three lineup coming this fall. Apple initially planned on ordering an equal amount of LCD and OLED displays, but now plans to make more LCD models, which could be for the lower price and lesser featured 6.1 inch iPhone. Now the report is not clear if this new plan includes iPhone 7, 8, and iPhone SE models because that would easily change the complete tone of this story. But the report says Apple is aware of consumer sensitivity to the price of a smartphone after receiving some criticism for the price of the iPhone 10. Oh, that's so sweet. But they might be aware, but come on, they don't really care as long as people keep buying them, they're gonna keep making them. And whenever they're asked about the high price of iPhones, Apple's answer is that we offer a wide lineup of phones for everyone. Translation, if you don't wanna spend all that cheddar, just go and buy an older model from two or three years ago. Okay, thanks, bye. All right, in news that made me jelly, Okay, hold on, sorry, you know what? My mom watches this show, so mom, jelly means jealous, but it's also what you put on my tasty sandwich. Mm. The one you made me yesterday. Well, Amazon's Fire TV Cube is coming out on June the 21st. I'll be doing my own review, but I can't help but look at this and think, this is the product Apple should have done, but completely missed on. We had heard rumors of a potential Apple TV with Siri built into the box a few years ago, but that never happened. And admittedly, there is a no way that Siri would even be as good as Alexa at this point in time. But this Fire TV Cube looks sleek. It controls your TV and home theater, sound bars and cable box. It has an IR blaster and is directly compatible with services like Netflix, Hulu, and ESPN. So you can ask it things directly like, Alexa, watch the latest episode of The Proposal. I know from the very beginning, I never thought that I would find somebody as special as you guys. Monica. Well, can cancel. Yo, cancel it. That was a slip up. It was honest. I mean, watch the NBA draft. 
Now it's 120 bucks and when I see it, all I think of is this huge opportunity that Apple TV missed. And yes, I will give Apple TV 4K props for finally being the only streaming box that handles Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos once the software update drops. But the Fire TV Cube, it got me like this. <laughs> yeah, I know you have been there. And believe it or not, we've got some HomePod news. People from all over the universe watch my videos and I appreciate it, especially you Franz in Germany. This story is for you, okay? The HomePod is now available in Canada, France, and Germany. Do you realize how many times people in Canada specifically complain to me about where's the HomePod? Well, it's great timing after Siri was recently updated in 11.4 to read the news in French, German, and Canadian English. And to that I say, it's a boot time, eh? All right, uh, let's just end things here with our good friends, Samsung. Samsung was finally ordered to pay Apple $539 million for copying the look and features from Apple's iPhone. You know about this story. They've been battling it in court since 2011. You know, Adele's Rolling in the Deep was the number one song on the Billboard back then. That was a long time ago. Well, they finally settled, but that didn't stop Samsung from letting everyone know they don't still give a f That's because they just released this new TV commercial for the Galaxy S9 in its new color, Sunrise Gold. And look how amazing that looks with liquid gold like forming around the phone. It's such an original concept, just like this. The iPhone 5S's commercial, when it was the first iPhone to be covered in gold. Come on, son. That's a bad apple on you. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for this week. And if you want to dive even deeper with Apple, you can check out my Apple Bits XL audio podcast. It's on iTunes and SoundCloud and every platform you can think of, including the new Google Podcast app. And if you want to help support me on this new independent journey and I've given you anything of value, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Tong, and I've got a whole lot cooking. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Be safe. Peace.